don't have any God. I left them all behind. There is no God, really, when the wind blows. Everything is just a flat, grey, nameless prison. Maybe you close your eyes and sleep for a while. Nobody's around. Nobody will be around for a while. This air is sick and it gets into your guts. It puts you in front of yourself and shows you how powerless you are. Can you deal with that? Can you accept that and move on? It starts with a wind blowing from southeast. Those low clouds. The air gets sticky, dripping, muddy, like it's trying to subtly choke you. Every color just fades into that gray lead. Light, madness, and haze. That is how someone has described it. Some people call it melancholia. I don't know how to call it. That's just that name. Makaya, we call it. It would even be sort of romantic. But the problem is that we are in spring. You might want to find a place to think, somewhere to escape that feeling. But it's there with you. It must be in the air. It's haunting and heavy because it's telling you that the world is so still now that you have nowhere to go anymore. The sea, like freedom, is it really like that? Or is it just an illusion, just another barrier which keeps you here, an invisible wall of salt, the sort of enemy that plays as a friend until it's not anymore. This place will remain still, in time, forever. You are part of it. You are a pebble.
once cloaked within our home, now no longer hidden from this vile encroachment of soil and vine, strangling this haven of folly. Their creeping entry had forced our out, so my friend Rattlemop, pulsing within the clothing of a painted tree felon figure, howled upon the key which led out onto the chasm, and thus I journeyed towards doubtless doom. I tumbled near blind, careening down a sentient hungering belly of rock and brick. Rattlemot encountered the configuration before myself, laying upon the path, infested with greenery which threatened all like ourselves to this fate. I desired dreams, to be comforted with a reality of blurring peace, instead we were greeted by bones in the oily dark. 